Here's a quick review of the Wyndham at Providence Airport at PVD. This is the Wyndham Hotel, formerly the Sheraton, at Providence Airport, PVD Airport, at Providence, Rhode Island. So this hotel was an older Sheraton, or was, and it's been taken over now by the owner has gone under the Wyndham flag, and this was remodeled back in summer of 2018. How do I know? Because I was staying here. A guy named Bob or Robert Kinney was manager back then. In any rate, here's the uh, hallway. This is the fifth floor. Um, the decor is, uh, they could have not, they could have not used this green color. It's just, it's just not too favorable. This color here on the wall is okay. I suppose the rug's fine. It's, it's a clean hotel. This is very clean. This is room 526. You can see they don't really take care of hinges. They did put these new locks on last summer, which are RFID. So it has the modern key lock now, which you can put a card up to and it'll open up. So the locks are fantastic. In fact, I was here when the locks went in. It took about five minutes per door. All right, so you can lock your door with a new lock here. And uh, that was it. Here's the plan for the hotel. The exit plan, the evacuation plan. Inside the room they have the typical millennial wood floor, which is what millennials like, I guess. Here's the uh, safe in the closet. They got hangers in here. They have an iron, which is great. They have an ironing board. Driving back. This is a 3.5 star hotel, they say. And I think for the most part it is as far as the provisions they give you in the room and all that. There's a restaurant going to be opened here. This room has an adjoining door, which I'm not thrilled with, but there it is. And a mirror. There's my new shoes to the special someone got me that I'm very proud of because she bought them. And here's my mess. I like cream in my coffee, as you can probably tell. There's a coffee maker in here. And if you ask for a fridge, they will bring a fridge in your room. This fridge was in here. And when I first got the fridge, it was full of ice. It, it, it needed defrosting. So I was able to uh, use my hair dryer and hold the fridge over the bathtub and defrost it. So. I'm rather proud of my defrosting job. Look how nice it is in here now. And the fridge is beat up, so the door doesn't close all the way, so I put the chair against it. So the chair is now against the fridge, closing the door. That's kind of how it is here. Things work, but sometimes not. This AC seems okay. I like it rather cold in here, so it's fine with me. They have complete blackout shades here, so you can lower these two shades and black out the noise and the light. These shades work really, really, really good. I'm very happy with the blackout shades. There's chairs in here, two chairs, nothing right home about, and a lamp. Of course, I have them all filled with junk. And they have some nice glasses here and an ice container. There is an ice machine, I think, on this floor too. They have these rather odd lights, I guess, were put in two years ago, which they're workable. And what else? The plugs in this hotel are all kind of worn out. Um, some of the wall sockets are just worn, so they're worn so badly the plugs won't stay in. This wall socket here doesn't work at all. Anyway, that's the way it goes. They give you a, um, a little clock here, which I think is quite nice. There's a uh, phone in here. And let's see, waste baskets there. That's about it, really. Okay, let's go in the bathroom here. Bathroom has this aviation mirror here, which is kind of cool. It has like an aviation theme to it. And uh, sink has decent water pressure most of the time. If you try the water pressure when the hotel is busy, there's no water pressure hardly, so. I love this picture of uh, somebody jumping in a Newport or somewhere. 
And they've upgraded the uh, curtains here in the hotel. I love this uh, beautiful new shower curtain they have. Looks like they've they've redone the uh, tub in here, which is good. It needed it. And they have the new shower nozzle, which is great. The tub's fine. For a long time, these drains weren't draining, but this drain works good. I uh, checked it out. Works fine. These were missing their uh, stoppers. And now they have stoppers in. This one's hard to get to go down, but that's how it is here. Okay, the water pressure. Let's check it out. Whoa, it's a shower. I want to shower. Here we go. Okay, there's, there's hot water. Not bad. And there's uh, hot water, warm water, cold water. Not bad. This water pressure, when the hotel's busy, might be about, might be about like that when it's busy. So when it's busy, you hardly get water at all. I was able to take a shower, but not a bath. Anyway, I'm quite happy right now with the water pressure. And if you want to take a bath, you can do that, and the water drains up through here, and that works. So I'm happy about that. I can take a bath and listen to my symphony music. Okay. Well, that's about that with the hotel. They do have generous uh, towels here and such. And they give you little goodies here. Everything you might want in a four-star hotel. And you get a blow dryer here and a window bag. So, all in all, not bad. These plugs are sketchy. I mean, look at how there's no friction. This plug is worn out. It has to be replaced to see how sketchy the plugs are here. So. I think they've done some of these, but they could go through here and do the rest. I mean, that's unacceptable. All right, so hopefully this gives you an idea of the window. The bed is very comfortable. I like the bed, it's a king. Or it's a large, yeah, it's a king, and it's comfortable. The pillows are fine. So this must be left over from Sheraton days, but the beds are nice. Pillows are nice. It's not like a uh, Stay America or someplace like that or a red roof where the pillows are horrible and the bed's like the bed's like a brick and you gotta bring in your own pillows this has great pillows okay well yeah see i still have this uh stay america soap from that hotel anyway yeah the housekeepers can be a little crazy so they they have these waste basket bags in here they must be in a hurry but i won't hold against them oh yes and there's a coffee machine here so the coffee here is what they have uh, yeah, tea. That's fancy, very fancy. Look at that, some Earl Grey. So I'm all set. I brought my own creamers in here and there's Earl Grey. So is there any coffee? Yeah, there's some coffee here, Castle Creek. Okay, well, you got coffee. You got more coffee, I think. Yep. Never heard of Castle Creek Coffee. Anyway, yeah, they got you covered for coffee. They call us a reunion island. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And again, this is a Providence uh, PBD Rhode Island, Providence Wyndham. There is no, um, there is no uh, microwave in here. They do have a microwave downstairs, which you can use at the front desk. It's kind of like tucked away in there. So yeah, it's clean. It's a clean hotel. I mean, I'm happy with it. The, the, the decor is questionable, but uh, the, it's clean. Now, let's check out this TV here. I've never turned this TV on because I just don't use TV, but let's see what happens. There's a power button. And come on, TV. I might have unplugged it accidentally. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So it's using Cox cable. The picture is really good. Okay, this looks like Discovery Channel here. This is the Highway to Hell show. Let's see what else. Can we change channels here? Trying to change channels and not much luck. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, it's got good TV. Really good TV. Is there a shark tank? Yeah, so the TV's great. You've got no problem here with TV. If you like TV, you got it made here. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, they give you a, uh, a Wall Street too. You can pick up a Wall Street at the front desk. So yeah, it's, it has accoutrements of a, uh, 
of a 3.5 star hotel, that's for sure. If the journal's here, then I'm in. Okay, well, thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps you decide that the Wyndham in, in PVD is, is a good place to stay, and if you're lucky, sometimes the price in this thing will dip down and you can get it cheap. So that's what I did. I waited for a price drop and I jumped on it, and I I was suspect at first when I first came in here after after being out of here for like six months, I came back in here and I was like, oh my god, because it's not as nice as a Radisson, but I'm getting used to it. It's not a bad place. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.